right for the pass, and I'll head for the border. Get you, Dad. I'm all right. Get me back to the post right away.
you do it, just wiggle your ears. Maybe you're as lonesome as me. You could only talk. Smells like food. Let's see how welcome we are. Cheer up, partner. That might be the last of yours, but I've got plenty in my saddlebag. Even if you set the fire made and the coffee boiling, I'll supply the rest of the dinner. Thank you. 
entre las y races, más que good horses. <risa> Como que son los mejores que he visto desde que vine de México. <risa> Glad to know you. I'm a dentist. How do you do? When I get you home, you're going to get it. Well, if that, uh, you'll excuse me. I kind of promised him if he'd come home with me that you wouldn't give it to him. Of course, I uh, realize that he has it coming to him. Well, no harm done. We'll pass it this time. But glad to know you, and thanks again. If you ever get lonesome, why, well, drop out the ranch and see us. We live close to town. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Maybe is right. This horse dealer has got to stop. It's either a case of the horsemen and cattlemen over in this country, or the horse thief. It can't be both. Right. And we'll form a vigilante committee, and we'll do it now. Maybe you should wreck me where I can find quarters for myself and horse. I have two of them. Well, I say, young fellow. Keep your horses in my stable back of my office across the street. Well, thank you. And the uh, proprietor here will put you up in the cantina. We got a room while well at the head of the stairs. Fine. I'll move in now if you don't mind. Go ahead. The door is open. You stay right here with Marion. I have some shopping. And when we get ready to go home, you'd better follow us, not try to run away again. Go ahead. Did you tell Bill where we lived and how to get there? No, I didn't. Did you? See? You just like all girls. By Andy Culver. I mean, 
the young stranger up there. Oh, Mason. Yeah. We were just speaking about you. Yeah? Hey, uh, you know who it was you hit the other day? I have the least idea. That was Calhoun, the noted bad man around here. Now, we suspected him and his gang of horses, but we haven't been able to pin anything on. Well, what's that got to do with me? We're forming a vigilante committee, Mr. Mason. And you're the only man that's had the nerve to stand up against Calhoun. Now, we'd like to know if you had this committee. Before you say yes, let me warn you. It's going to be a hard job. I'll accept under one condition, then. That I have my own way. Accept the job, and you're not afraid of Calhoun? I accept, and I don't think I'm afraid of Calhoun. Good. That's fine. that incident the other day, young fellow. I didn't mean to hurt you. You didn't hurt me half as much as Bill Mason did you. Oh, that was just a misunderstanding. I'll explain that to Mason sometime. I would if I were you. What you need is a darn good lick.
Let me have your father come out and identify the fortune, sir. This fellow was driving off. You've got any defense to offer for this fellow. You better make it quick, because it won't keep you much longer than overnight.
is the key, Marshal. You take care of it. Okay, Marshal. Well, that's a good start, Bill. Thank you, Marshal. What's your pleasure, gentlemen? Uh, I've had my little liquor. you to give Dwyer a fair trial. You get the same trial any other man would get charged with the same offense. Horse stealing is a capital crime in this territory. I wasn't talking to you. You don't seem to be running this game now. He's not. I am. Let me tell you that if another horse leaves this crazy ground, we're going to have a roundup that will be passed from here to the Canadian border. You ever hear of Canada? I see you lost the time of your watch, Bill. Well, I never owned a watch, Tom. And Canada's a long ways off. Canada is a lot closer than you think. Have a drink, boy. Keep that door closed. And don't let anyone near or out. I got it. I'll see if he gets up to you.
Greetings, amigo. I have business with you this morning, senor. Well, after breakfast a better time, not now. Ah, I'm very sorry. But my business, you will not wait. So, maybe it's best you come in the house now, huh?
What does this mean? It means that Calhoun's heading north of him. Come to the end of his trail. All right, Mason. I knew you were on my trail. I knew that the Northwest Mounted Police never let up. But I didn't think you'd ever say. No. We wanted him for horse dealing. Question, Marshal. You've got him and I've got him. Now, who takes him? I think it would be a shame to waste a good rope on him. Seeing as my horse is even feeling, I think I've got some voice in the matter. I take him to Mason. You win. Thank you, Michael. So long, Mason. We owe you a vote of thanks. Yes, and more than that. After you've taken your prisoner up north, if you feel like coming back, then he's mighty glad to see you. Thanks. We sure will. And there's someone else here, I think, has the same thought. <laughs> Running away again, eh? I'll teach you, young fellow. Believe me, this is going to hurt me more than it does you. 